Hello, today I'll be talking about my top 15 favorite Morbid Angel songs. So yeah, been a while since I've done one of these favorite songs type of videos and today I decided to do Morbid Angel. So before I go into my top 15, let's go ahead and start off with honorable mentions and I only have two. The first one is Prayer of Hatred, which is from Foremost Fate of the Flesh, one of my personal favorites from that album. I especially dig the guitar work in that song, especially. But next we'll be moving to World of Shit from Covenant, which is probably my favorite album from Morbid Angel. But yeah, those are some of my honorable mentions. Let's go ahead and dive into my top 15, which will be in no particular order. Uh, as of now, a bit too tough for me, but Let's start off with the first song here, Maze of Torment, which is probably honestly a contender for maybe being my favorite song from Ultras of Madness. I mean, there's a lot of killer songs off that album. I mean, Maze of Torment, Chapel of Goals, Evil Spells, so many great songs off that album. But Maze of Torment, again, might be my favorite off of Ultras of Madness. But next we'll be moving to Rapture. Uh, this might be my favorite album opener from the band, or at least it's a contender because this song just kicks so much ass from the more speedy moments in the song to David Vincent's vocals. I mean, it was also one of the first Morbid Angel songs that I heard and yeah, definitely one of the highlights from Covenant for sure. Next we'll be moving to Ageless Still I Am and this song is from Gateways to Annihilation which I think is the best album they've done so far with Steve Tucker. And also of the Steve Tucker albums, I think this is the best sounding album too. And Ageless Still I Am, easily one of my favorites from that album. But then we'll be moving to arguably maybe their biggest song or at least one of their biggest. And that is of course, God of Emptiness, which of course did have a music video. And yeah, this song focuses on their more doomy slash slower side and while still, of course, maintaining the heavy. Another really great song, uh, David Vincent, of course, does some vocally interesting things in this song, especially towards the end of the song. Uh, but yeah, God of Emptiness had to make my list. But next we're moving to Where the Slime Live, one of the fan favorites from Domination and definitely a, a great song. I definitely really dig the main riff especially. I mean, the riffs in this song alone are a big enough are good enough reasons for me to have this song in my list. Next we'll be moving to Fall from Grace, which is from Blessed Are the Sick and yeah, easily one of the highlights from that album. Um that when it comes to Blessed Are the Sick, not my favorite album from Morbid Angel, but if I were to rank their albums, it would be in the top half though. But yeah, Fall From Grace, again, definitely one of the best songs from that album. But next we'll be moving to Angel of Disease, which is easily one of my favorites from Covenant. I wouldn't be surprised if this would make my top five in terms of favorite Morbid Angel songs. I mean, this song just kicks so much ass. Rhythmically, I really dig this song and I also really dig the vocals especially. Just all around, really great song. But next we'll be moving to Heaving Earth, which is the opener to their album Formulas, Feel to the Flesh. Easily one of the highlights off that album, along with uh, Prayer of Hatred for me. And with Formulas, Feel to the Flesh, it's one of those albums for me, at least for me personally, where you have a strong first half, but a weaker second half. Now the second half does have its moments, but the first half is easily the stronger half especially because of the first two songs, especially Heaving Earth and Prayer of Hatred. But yeah, Heaving Earth definitely had to make my list. The next we're moving to Summoning Redemption, um, another favorite of mine from Gateways to Annihilation. I definitely dig the pummeling heavy riffs in that song, especially. But then we're moving to the album opener to Altars of Madness, and that is Immortal Rights. Definitely one of my favorites from that album. And then we'll be moving to another favorite of mine from Altars of Madness, Chapel of Ghouls. Another contender for maybe being my favorite song from Altars of Madness. And then we'll be moving to Eyes to See, Ears to Hear, which is of course from the album Domination and kind of an underrated song, I'd say. Uh, now, not top five Morbid Angel songs good, but at least well, again, had at least had to at least make my top 15. I don't know if it would make my top 10, but at least, again, my top 15. Overall, pretty cool song, and again, kind of underrated, kind of overlooked. 
but definitely one of my one of the personal highlights for me off of the domination album but next we'll be moving to a song from the heretic album god of our own divinity which is easily the best song off that album in my opinion curse the flesh is a good song i do like drum drum check but yeah, Heretic, for me, one of their weaker albums. I'm also not a huge fan of the production on that album. Um, maybe my least favorite of the Steve Tucker albums, either that one or Kingdoms Disdain. It might be, Kingdoms Disdain I might like less, but I'm not really sure, though, because that's an album that I just don't, re that I don't reach for very much. But, I mean, of course, I can say the same thing with Heretic. But, anyways... Back to God of Our Own Divinity, definitely a great song, and again, easily my favorite from Heretic. But next we'll be moving to The Lion's Den. I mean, this is another song for me where you can tell Morbid Angel has a great ear for rhythm, and another song from Covenant that's always been one of my personal favorites from that album. And now I'll be moving to the final song for this list, and that is Blessed Are the Sick which of course the title track from the album and one of the more more slower slash doomy songs that they, that they have and yeah I mean I definitely really dig this song definitely one of my favorites from that album a song that I might not reach for as much as some of the other songs on this list but still good enough to make my list for sure but Anyways, that is my top 15 Fear of Morbid Angel songs. Let me know your thoughts on my top 15. Let me know your top 15 or top 10 or top 5 in the comment section below. And let me know, yeah, favorite songs, favorite albums, or at least favorites, and all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a like. Subscribe. Have a nice day. And take care.